Neurocognitive testing is a way to measure brain function non-invasively. It uses paper and pencil tests or computerized tests to assess important aspects of your cognition like attention and memory and language and reaction time, perception and so on. This isn't about someone asking you how you're feeling or doing. It's about giving small tasks that directly measure it. The different tests are specifically crafted to measure particular aspects of what's happening under the hood. By measuring subtle aspects of brain function like this, researchers and clinicians can get a powerful microscope into what's happening in your brain. In this way, neurocognitive testing gives a standardized way to get a snapshot of your cognitive health. The tests are objective and the scores give a way to compare a person's functioning to the rest of the population or against themselves at a previous time. Neurocognitive testing has several advantages over more invasive tests. It doesn't take much time to complete and unlike brain scans that are very costly or surgeries that involve risks, this kind of testing can be done at a desk or on a tablet. Collectively, the scores can be used to measure brain function, and in a clinical setting, these are often used for the diagnosis of problems, such as concussion or dementia or learning disabilities. Neurocognitive testing can also help detect problems early on. Early detection of concussion and dementia are often missed, but they don't have to be because they're accompanied by subtle changes in attention and perception and hand-eye coordination. Those changes can be picked up with simple tests and that can help determine someone's fitness for returning to work or athletic play or their capacity for living alone and managing their own finances. Neurocognitive testing can tease out the patterns that allow detection and they can also allow tracking through time. For example, to keep a good baseline of your cognition in mild cognitive dementia or to assess your recovery in concussion. Neurocognitive testing has been in use for a long time. Traditionally, it was done with paper and pencil, but in recent years, computerized testing has been shown to be even more sensitive and more efficient than the traditional tests. And that's not surprising. We can capture precise reaction times. We can randomize trials. We can keep attention focused we can be consistent with the testing and score things totally objectively. The tests can be run without a professional to administer them, which means they can be run more often in the privacy of a home or on the sidelines of a playing field. Given these advantages, my lab and others have been gamifying tests on mobile devices. This makes the testing portable and easy to use, giving users the ability to take the tests early and often. Having the ability to track cognitive health throughout an individual's lifetime allows for a deeper understanding of brain health and enhances early detection of concussion or dementia, allowing someone to take early action.